First pitch to Max. Breaking ball hammered. Only needed one. He's got them all. A walk-off bomb for Max Romero Jr. And the Fred Nats win. The 0-2 to Godman. Is lined to center. Cruz comes on, dives, and takes away a base hit. What can't he do? The one suit to Armando Cruz is lifted to right field, pretty deep towards the corner. Baloney on his way over. That's a fair ball off the wall. Off to the races is Green. Here he comes for the win. He slips and falls. The throw is up the line, but he's safe anyway. And that's a Fred Nat winner. Green made it interesting. Cruz gets the winning hit. Make it eight in a row for the Fred Nats. Big time drama tonight. But I mean, Elijah Green could squish him if he wanted to. And here he squishes that ball way out of here, out of the park. Oh my, an absolute tank. And the Fred Nats are back in front. Try 436. I'm Eric Bach, and this is your Budweiser State of the Farm. It's that time of year for promotions, and Brady House earned another. After just 16 high A games, the top third base prospect is on his way to double A Harrisburg. In 16 games with the Wilmington Blue Rocks, he hit 317, OPS over 900, three homers, 13 RBIs. A well-deserved promotion for House. A Lyle on the move from Fredericksburg, one of the best players in the Carolina League all season. 34 extra base hits, 48 RBIs, 21 stolen bases. We'll miss him here in Fredericksburg, but a well-earned promotion. Brandon Bossier goes with him. He was a Fred Nat for parts of three seasons. OPS over 700 this year, clutch hitter, great defender at first base on his way to Wilmington. Brad Lord on his way to Wilmington as well, and in his first Wilmington start, five innings of two hit ball in a win for him. Murphy Staley on his way as well. Got back from a hamstring injury. He was transferred to Wilmington and hit his first high A home run over the weekend. This has been your Budweiser State of the Farm. Don't forget it's fan appreciation all weekend long here, final home stand of the regular season. Some gifts for fans. Fred Nats got a gift there from Lynchburg. Guy Lipscomb completely misread that ball. Allowed the Fred Nats to score their only run so far. Two to one Hillcats as we go to the bottom of the third. Top of the Fred Nat order coming up against Alonzo Richardson. First pitch to Elijah Nunez is a fastball that misses the corner for ball one. Elijah singled against Richardson to lead off the first, but was stranded at third base. Alonzo's 1-0 is upstairs and it's 2-0. Man, the Hillcats should be kicking themselves right now because, frankly, it should be three to nothing. Fred Nats got a kind of miracle defensive play there as Nunez takes a strike. Probably should have been a base hit for Zarate that Staley got enough of a glove to. Cruz then made an excellent play behind him. The 2-1, Nunez cuts and misses, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Checking on those pesky fish felines. They lead both of these teams, and right now they lead the Down East Wood Ducks two to nothing, bottom four. And the two two, Nunez pops it up, shallow left, fading towards foul territory. Third baseman now spears it right in front of the tarp to make the catch for the first out. Well, he made that look more difficult than he may have needed to, but it all counts the same, and Nunez is out number one. This is an incredible play here by Hanau. Look what I found. Whoopsie. Wow. Made it a little bit more difficult, but also so nonchalant. Probably could have just reached up. I was thinking that, yes. Kind of the underhand snag. John McHenry now takes the first pitch strike from Alonzo Richardson. So the standings watch is Carolina with a three and a half game lead 
over the Fred Nats coming into play today. So McHenry taps a pitch foul, and it's quickly 0-2. And, and a two-game lead over Lynchburg. So obviously both of these teams want the Mudcats to lose this week. Right now that is not the case. They're up 2 to nothing after 4 against Down East, who is the first half champion, but they're really struggling of late. The 0-2 McHenry tips off of Lopez's glove straight back, and it's 1-2. and two. So one of these two teams in front of us here could easily be in first place at week's end. Mudcats trying to go to the playoffs for the first time since 2008. 1-2, McHenry ahead of a breaking ball. And he strikes out for Richardson's third punch out. Can you think? I mean, you got to think. What are the odds? It's been, what, 15 years since the Mudcats have been in the playoffs at any level? They were double A the I was last say, they time. They were playing in a smaller league yeah. for a little bit. We're in the Southern League. Those Mudcats. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around. It, it's, what are the odds of that? Christian Vaccaro takes a breaking ball upstairs for ball one. Base is clear, two outs. Fred Nats trail it two to one, bottom three. The 1 0 to Vaccaro is lined foul over our heads. One and one. It was a little bit closer than the last one. I've lost hope. I haven't yet. I mean, six left in the regular season, including tonight. And the closest we've come to catching a foul ball was like back in April. 1-1. Vaccaro squats down and takes a low strike two. Just looks the part. Yeah. 18 years old. He'll be 19 in less than a month. September 13th is his birthday. A little bit older than Jorge Luis Mota. I'm sure we'll see tomorrow. And the one-two to Christian. It's popped foul near us again. Still one and two. But man, when I was adding Jorge Luis Mota onto the roster, here we are, right side of your screen. It made me feel old to write 2005. Yeah. As Vaquero rips a base hit to right center. First, first one in this ballpark. That was a screamer off his bat. Got a two-strike pitch he could handle and did not miss it. And that's the fourth base hit of the game for the Fred Nats. Oh, the one-two fastball that Richardson is trying to put up above the letters, but instead left it letter high a bit below for Vaccaro, who hammers it to right. His fifth hit with the Fred Nats. Gives Elijah Green a chance here with two outs. First one he sees is tipped foul straight back, but right on that first pitch fastball. Elijah had a minor wrist injury that sent him to Florida, and they used that time to retool his swing. Richardson waits a long time and now throws over, and Vaccaro has to lunge back to the bag. That was a lightning fast move for a right hander. But Elijah Green chose to drive from West Palm Beach to Salem to meet the Fred Nats. That's 12 and a half hours and 900 miles. But Elijah did in one day. The 0 1. Greeny. Fouls it off to the right, and it's nothing nothing in two. Wanted his car back here in Fredericksburg when he eventually came back home, so decided to hoof it up I-95 to meet the Fred Nats in Salem. Well, that begs the question. Do you think he's a coffee on the road trip guy, an energy drink? Seems like a guy that's just high on life. I would be probably two or three coffees in for a, a 12 and a half hour road trip. Well, you are a caffeine dependent 25 year old man. Absolutely. He is a 19 year old world class athlete. Are you saying I'm not a world class athlete? <laughs> <laughs> Infer what you will.
Another 0-2 from Richardson. Elijah checks and does not go, says Travis Brewer. 1-2. and two. For a second, I thought Travis Brewer was getting ready to ring him up. He gave us the old uh, one hand. Yeah, safe. Safe, safe. He was safe. Definitely the right call. Yeah. Elijah did not go. Vaccaro at first. One ball, two strikes, two outs. And they throw over again. Vaccaro safe. Christian stole just one bag last week on his only attempt. So now that Elijah Green has his car and his high socks, he's ready for the one two pitch. Vaccaro runs, pitches outside, and they won't even bother. Christian steals second unopposed in the tying run and scoring position for the Fred Nats. Well, only the one steal in six games now, two stolen bases after that. He's got great speed, stole 15 bags in the complex league. He was caught eight times. But you see that speed in his outfield play as well. Big long-legged guy. Feels like he'll be able to steal a lot of bases moving up the system. And on a 2-2, Green takes a breaking ball down. And this is a good A-B from Elijah. Full count. Feels more confident in his plate discipline. Ready for a strong finish here in the last two weeks. Richardson's 3-2 pitch. Green cuts and misses, and he gets him to retire the side. Good battle from Elijah, but Richardson wins it. Fred Nats leave a man in scoring position and trail it 2-1 to one after three on the Fred Nats Baseball Network. <laughs> 